Okay, we're rolling. Take it in. This is Liza's recovery service. All right, stop. We're not gonna make it that far, but I'm gonna see if I can scrunch this. I get my foot out of there first, scrunch this down. If we can get it up on the level, we'll be good. Um, okay. Go. In. This is the little portable winch setup that we came up with. Not just for the four wheeler, but it'll do all kinds of stuff. You can pull fence with it. It's just running off that battery pack. Then we get up there to that black, then I want you to stop. Hear how it, the tones change? And I'll block the tire, because we're on. Okay, stop. I'll block the tire real quick. And then we'll, what we'll do is I'll have you let it back out. We'll eliminate this strap and just hook the hook up there into the clevis. If I can remember where I put the block. Where did I throw? Oh, it's back here. <clears throat> All right, let the pressure off and see if it rolls. Keep going. Oh, it's gonna go over. I need a bigger block. Put some pressure back on it. Yep, I'll get one out of the truck. Now this fiasco here, this ought to hold it. All right, let it out. It shouldn't roll off of that. Not rolling at all. Okay. Now, you've got the slack out of it, just let enough slack out. And then you I'll let you take it apart. We'll watch you do it. So what you I want, want to do this part first. what I want you to do, you can unhook that. Just take the hook off it. Just take the hook oh, off I it. I forgot about that part. Just take the hook off. All right. Now, if you're slick enough, you can just take this off to the side. Yep, and then hook the hook right in here. Now, so what you'll have to do is let it out. You'll have to let it out. So I will assist you. You or oh, you got the remote? No, I won't assist you. You're gonna do it yourself. Okay. There you go. Now keep it tight or you'll make spaghetti up there. So keep it tight as you go. With a wire cable, this is way more forgiving. The rope is way more forgiving. With a wire cable, you would have already made spaghetti where it just spins out on the drum. Well, it would have been a learning. It's lesson. a learning experience, correct. But, but this cable is rated for like 3,000 or 5,000 pounds, whatever. Now we're not completely done, but go ahead and hook that right here. Now, you don't want to hook it that way. You want to hook it on the top. There you go. All right, now, because we're pretty much straight, now take this and put it like right in here somewhere. In the middle, because we're, we're almost centered on the front. The ass end of the four wheeler is not straight, but by the time we winch it up there, the four wheeler will be roughly straight. Okay, there you go. I got all kinds of parts and pieces and whatever that we can put together and I think you should be good so I'll get on here and I'll kind of move towards the center Ready? yep reel me in baby And it will sometimes slip a little bit, but in this case, we're in great shape. Okay, now I'm gonna try to center that. Does it look like the four-wheeler's pretty much centered? Yeah, you want it right over the wheel wells, right? Yep. 
Because, uh, I mean, we can have the weight slightly forward. It's okay. My concern is that the wheel is so close to this hole. Uh, let me see how. No, that's good. Okay. It'll be okay. Yep. Now, we can do this by hand. We could jack around with it, let it out, and bring it back in. But all we have to do is just grab on to the four wheeler and slide it. Now, I've got straight. No, you're good. I think you're good up front. Okay. Well, no, you can slide it that way a little bit. Yep, just a little bit. Maybe. If you can get it to go. If, if you can't get it to go, no, we'll just leave it. I cannot. Okay, that's close enough. Um, so. What we'll do here, actually, I want you to let it out. I'll let it roll back. And I'll tell you why here in just a second. More? Yep. I want you to let it roll back. I'll tell you when to stop. Because when we put the straps on, I'll have the straps hold the rear tires. I'll put straps on the front and straps on the back. Keep going. Oh, that's Half good. Bit, you nope, good? you're good for right okay. there. Um, and we'll stop the video right here. You guys got the idea. But you're going to leave this on until you get it strapped in, right? I'm, or I might even leave it all the way home. Oh, okay. Because that way we know it's got a brake inside there. Okay. Rated for 3,000 pounds or whatever. You're not really supposed to do that. But this is just one extra support. Right, to hold it. And it's not going to hurt anything to leave the winch on. All I have to do is shut the power off here down on the power pack and unhook it. And it can stay on there like that. You wouldn't want to leave this on there all the time in the wind and the rain, or the wind doesn't hurt anything, but in the rain or so bad snow, bad weather. Can I attach this to here so it's not going to fly? You absolutely in could do that. Yeah, go ahead and attach that right up there to the rack. That's a great idea. I knew I kept you around for perfect. A perfect shot. <laughs> you couldn't have done that any better if you tried. <laughs> so now you got to climb underneath the trailer to get the pin. These things happen. Um, would you care to tell the viewers, Liza, why we had to winch the four-wheeler up on top uh, of the train? Because Tover forgot the battery pack at home. Yeah, I walked right into the house because I keep the battery packs in the house so they stay warm and charged up and whatever, and walked right past the battery pack that I could have brought with me to start the four-wheeler and drive it up onto the trailer. But you know what? I just really wanted Liza to use the uh -huh. winch and everything else so and be your lovely assistant you're my lovely assistant in all her uh beauty and everything else so thank you liza you've done a fantastic job of course <coughs> now and you I have the remote yes you have the power so what you can do is you can just clip that on somewhere or you can go put it on the I'm dash of the truck whatever on the dash. i think that's great all right and we'll stop this eight minute video now yeah.